Hey folks, Marty Nowicki from Impact Snap. Today's video is we're going to talk about the importance of release and the details that are involved in a correct, powerful release. The Impact Snap is a release trainer. It trains the wrists to repeat a consistent, powerful impact, post-impact position. The simplest way to think about release is we're releasing the angle between the lead arm and the shaft. Okay, now while that's happening, a few other things are happening. I've got an arm itself, a lead arm that's releasing. I'm gonna have a lead wrist that's releasing. I'm gonna have a trail arm that's releasing. And I will also have some amount of rotation, and what the rotation does is that squares the club up. Simple drill, if I created that nice little L and just swung it more around my body, well at some point I need to release a few things. Now here's the order that things would release. First would be the lead arm from the body itself, okay? Now while that releases, next what's releasing the lead wrist and the trail elbow simultaneously. In upstate New York we play this great game called lacrosse where the trail elbow and the lead wrist load and unload together to get a lacrosse shot off. Well in golf, once that lead arm starts to release, the next step would be for this lead wrist and trail elbow to release together. While that's happening, I've got to pay attention to the club face. I wouldn't want to get it near the ball looking like this. It has to rotate some amount. So barring your grip, there, will, there may be some amount of rotation of the lead wrist and forearm. And the word follow through, which I think is important, is the moment that both arms are straight. Whatever happens after that, really is inconsequential because the ball is already gone. So, release again. I've got a lead arm that's releasing from that socket. I've got a lead wrist that will start to uncock. I've got a trail arm that will start to straighten and push forward. And then barring the grip, I've got some amount of rotation just to square the club up. Both arms will straighten post impact. Why this is so important, if I do it in any other order by accident or unknowingly, if I release the left wrist first, well I've just lost a lot of power. If I straighten the trail elbow first, I've just uh, lost a lot of power. If I rotate the forearm first, now I'm going over the top and be going across the golf ball. So the order that things happen, the lead arm has to lower itself first. So think in terms of this joint right here at the shoulder, that's the first release point when it comes time for the arms to go to work, okay? Lead wrist will be second, trail elbow in tandem with the lead wrist, and then barring your grip, that, that'll determine how much that lead arm needs to rotate. That There is a rotational force that goes into a good, powerful release. That's how we de uh, develop the ability with a little more centripetal force that equals more energy going into the ball. A good release with the right sequencing will then lead to one of the most important measurements in my teaching, and that's the radius when the hands get about waist high, is the club in alignment with the lead arm. If for whatever reason, things are releasing at the wrong time, that's when we see breakdown. That's, we always want that lowercase letter Y at impact. That makes the club more stable. We even want that with a driver, which I'll show you in another video. We want that lowercase letter Y at impact that makes the shaft more stable. If for whatever reason the club starts to pass the arm, that's probably the biggest power loss in golf right there. Doing things in the correct order 
will ensure a good, powerful release for long, straight, compressed shots. Why the impact snap is so important? It has a few features, a loading feature where you'll hear a click when you load it. If I unload it too soon, I'll hear the click in the wrong place. If for whatever reason I do things improperly, the ball on the end of the unit will miss my forearm completely. So doing things, releasing things in the proper order will ensure that the ball hits the trail forearm time after time. I, I don't want to hear that weight click too soon. I want to hear that weight click later. I want to feel the ball hit the trail forearm. Then I want to be able to check the club face for how square that looks. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helped. Please hit the subscribe button down below. Click the bell notification. That way you get notified each time we put out more content. Please leave your comments down below. That helps us to create more content for you. For Impact Snap, I'm Marty Nowicki. Thanks for watching.